thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Stephanie and I will be your yoga teacher for today. We got 10 minutes to do this yoga flow. We're going to start in an all fours position. So go ahead and meet me on your mat in your most beautiful stacked all fours position. Just making sure those knees are hip width apart, hips stacked over those knees, wrist shoulder width apart, shoulders stacked over our wrist. We're going to go ahead and start with barrel rolls here. So go ahead and drop that chest down over towards the left, roll towards the right, and then round through that spine and go over to the left. And let's do this a few times. Matching that breath to the movement. So we know in our cat position, we're exhaling. And when we're down and rounded, we are in our inhale position. So go ahead and match that breath to the movement. We'll go a few times this way, and then I'll tell you when to reverse that circle. Just imagine yourself fully rolling through that oak barrel, trying to touch every side of it. Beautiful. Once you finish one, go ahead and start to barrel roll the other way. So dropping to the right, rolling over to the left, and then pushing up through articulating this action in all of our muscles. This is such a full body cat cow. It's definitely my favorite. Finding the play and the freedom here, of course. Quickly. <laughs> Beautiful, go ahead and finish that one out and everybody's gonna meet back in all fours. Making sure that we're stacked here. Go ahead and send that left leg out. Just kind of pushing through that heel so you're getting this nice stretch all through the calf. And you're also pushing with your hands. So this is helping with your upper body strength too. So just rocking a little bit here. Nice. Go ahead and release that one back down and push the right one back. Pushing all through that right calf now. Still pushing equally through both the hands to get that stretch. Y'all like the, the 10 minute flows and I can see why 10 minutes is easy to fit in. Okay, go ahead and release. Let's go and tuck those toes and come into our first downward dog. Well, this is not the... Only, I was about to say this is the only down dog, so enjoy it, but I think we'll be in one more here. Just pedaling those feet out, stretching through them hamstrings, still pushing equally through the shoulders. And we're going to hop, step, or jump to the top of the mat, hanging in our forward fold here, just swaying left to right, allowing the upper body to hang heavy here. On your inhale, we're going to come up to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold over both of those legs. Inhale, begin to roll up to standing. Head and neck come last. Landing in mountain. Deep breath in. And we're going to inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Slice through that sky, coming back to our forward fold. Plant those hands. And everybody's going to come back into a down dog. So just step back into our down dog. Very nice. We're going to go ahead and bring that right foot in between the hands. Lower down that left knee. And on your next inhale, let it rise you up into our crescent lunge here. Arms up overhead. Beautiful. On that exhale, let's go ahead and push back into half splits, making sure those hips are square. Right foot is pointed towards the ceiling. Very nice. Go ahead and roll forward. Plant those hands. Tuck those left feet. Step back. Downward dog. Very nice. We have another side. So go ahead and bring that left foot in between the hands. Lower down that right knee and allow your inhale to bring you up. Crescent lunge, arms up overhead. Beautiful. 
and push back into our half splits here. Squared hips, light bend in that knee is always fantastic. Just breathing here. And rolling forward, tuck those back toes and step back into our downward facing dog. Very good. Go ahead and step that right foot forward. And we're going to pivot the toes towards the front of the mat and walk the hands forward. Wide legged forward fold. So let's go ahead and come over to the right leg and fold over that right leg. Breathing here. Very nice. Go and walk over towards the left and hang over that left leg. And to center, you can interlace your hand, opposite elbows here and just hang, swaying left to right here for just a second. So nice to get a nice little stretch in. Heel toe those feet in and we're coming down into our yogi squat here. Using our elbows to push against our knees. Chest is lifted. Smile is on our faces because we are showing up for ourselves. Even if it's only for a quick 10 minutes, it is beneficial and well needed. Mentally and of course physically. Go ahead and plop yourself back and go ahead and roll onto your back. We are coming into our happy baby here. So go ahead and reach for the opposite ankle or reach for the ankles to pull down. Knees are coming towards our armpits or you can take your hands to the outside of the feet to help you pull. Go ahead and close your eyes down here. This will be our little shavasana today and our little happy baby <sighs> showing up every day is not easy and i understand that 10 minutes though is showing up it still counts in my opinion five minutes a day still counts and that's so much more than what most people do it's all about our intention, and if our intention is to treat our bodies good, our body's going to benefit from the five minutes or the ten minutes. So way to go. Way to show up for yourself. Anyways, no matter what. Nice. Go ahead and hug both those knees in, and we're just going to rock and roll up to seated. So a little core action, rocking and rolling here, and nice little back massage. And just go ahead and meet me in a nice, beautiful seat here. Sitting up nice and tall, hands at heart center. One deep breath in, and sigh it all out. <sighs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope this was exactly what you were looking for. Namaste.